Hello there all my lovely jewelry makers, I'm Christina of CSL Designs and in today's video we're going to be looking at and trying out a different kind of laser than I've tried before and it's the Wayne Looks K8 Mini Laser Engraving Machine and the one I have is a 10 watt version so what's different about this machine is it basically comes fully enclosed and it's kind of like a little box and it's also very small compared to other lasers that I've tried previously previous lasers have always been quite big and can barely fit on most surfaces but this one can pretty much fit anywhere and the benefit of that is you can have it out all the time which means it's much easier to access and use regularly and I think therefore also suits running a business with it really well because you don't have to worry about bringing it out when you need to use it and putting it away when you're done and it's also really light so it's actually portable and it's not very difficult to move around if you need to and now with it being fully enclosed that also means that it has these doors on the sides that you have to open to access the area where the laser is and the doors themselves have anti-laser see-through windows, which also helps make this nice and safe to operate and protects you from the laser, of course. And the doors are on opposite sides as well, so you can access it from multiple angles. And another benefit with this machine is it comes all pre-assembled, so you don't have to worry about putting anything together to get it ready to go. It literally works straight out of the box, of course, assuming you plug it in first. <laughs> Now along with the laser they also sent me a mini purifier which is especially great if you want to cut or engrave onto any wood or cardboard or anything like that because that always creates a lot of smoke and smell and it's very unpleasant but this mini purifier helps get rid of that and it actually works really well so if you want to cut or engrave onto any of those kinds of materials I highly recommend that you look into getting something like that as well. Now of course I will leave links in the description box down below so you can check it out for yourself. Another feature this laser has as well is a built-in camera which is really useful for positioning your designs onto your materials. Now you do have to go through a setup process for the camera to work properly and that can be a little bit cumbersome but once you get everything calibrated properly it's a really handy feature to have. So of course the first thing we did after unboxing the laser and plugging it in was to get the camera set up so we made sure to calibrate that so it was working properly. And then they also sent a little material pack along with the laser with several different types of materials so we thought that would be a good place to start just to test out a few different things before we got started on the materials that I wanted to use just to test the machine out a bit to begin with and kind of get a feel for it and part of that was also included in the instructions for the setup process so for instance there was a little paintbrush here with a wooden handle on and the point was to then be able to engrave onto the handle so we just kind of put my business name in there even though it's a little mistake if you've noticed that we kind of missed out the L but anyway that worked out really nicely and it's actually engraved really well on there and it's very finely detailed so the writing is very thin but it still did that really well and there were also some dog tags in stainless steel and these are coated in gold so what you actually will find is that when you engrave onto this the first thing is that the layer of gold there is what gets removed and it then goes down into the silver stainless steel underneath so that's what's happened here and that worked out really well as well so it's not super obvious but that's because it's gold against silver but you could also engrave more onto that and kind of make the silver get more of a darker tone to it maybe that would make it stand out more but of course it's all the different options that you have there were also several other different materials so you have a couple of business cards here so these are metal business cards as you can see we also did one of them and this is something I really want to do to actually have business cards of metal rather than just the usual paper ones I think it's far less likely people will throw them away and this is really cool so that worked out really well as well there's some different paper I think some of it is sticky paper you have some leather pieces because you can also engrave and cut onto leather and this is that kind of rainbow paper that's got a coating on top and you scratch that off and you reveal the rainbow color underneath that you can actually engrave so the engraving removes that black coating and reveals the rainbow in whatever design that you've obviously chosen you got some thick cardboard we have some wood pieces that fit perfectly inside the machine you can see we use some of that to cut a couple of things that we'll have a look at a bit later on so obviously that is something you do have to be mindful of is the size of the machine it does limit the size of material that you can put in there and engrave on although you can also do a workaround with the doors because it has a safety feature where if the laser is going but you open a door it will stop the laser and everything for safety but there is a workaround that you can actually make it so you can have the doors open while you're lasering and that is for instance so you can use bigger materials so they'll go through the doors that's also for instance to use the roller to engrave onto bottles or cups or things like that so even though this is quite a smaller machine you still have a lot of options with it now once we've done a few tests it was time to move on to the materials that I knew I wanted to use for some final pieces 
So we started out with some little trinket trays I'd found of stainless steel coated in different colours. And you can obviously use them as they are, but I wanted to engrave onto them and they look like this. So they're heart shaped and we ended up just using the one that's got kind of a coppery coating. And I wanted to engrave some motivational saying because, for instance, if you could use these as jewellery trays, so where you put your jewellery when you're not using it and you can easily pick it up when you need it. And then on the base, I then wanted to engrave something positive so that when you take your jewellery, it reveals that saying and it kind of puts a little smile on your face. I think that's always something you can't have too much of. So for this one here, we put believe in yourself. I think that fit really nicely and especially you pick out some jewellery to kind of make yourself feel better as you put it on. And what actually ended up happening is the engraving on this turned out to be coloured. So most of it is kind of like a pinkish purpley, but then down on the bottom here you can actually see it's turned out gradient. So it turns more from like a pink up here and then towards the bottom it starts going more purple. And I think that is so cool that you can do that. Obviously we didn't intend for that to be the case, but that's part of kind of getting to know your machine is figuring out different settings to get different results. And this just so happened to be a setting on this material here specifically that turned out in this way. And I think it is so cool. And it's actually even cooler than I expected it to turn out in the first place. So I'm really pleased with that. And then we also did a few just kind of basic round blanks. And some of these also turned out really cool. So this was the first one, I think. Actually, these two, I think, were the first ones. So this little one here is just a date that we put on there. And it engraved that nicely. You can see this is really small. And it's still very clear and obvious what it says. So we did it on both sides just to kind of test it. So that worked out nicely and did a good job there. And then here, again, I did the same text that believe in yourself. But here... On a stainless steel blank, again, because of the settings, not knowing ahead of time that it was going to turn out like this, it turned out to basically be a copper or rose gold engraving. And that's so cool, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. Again, that's just pure coincidence, but then you can reference those settings, and obviously it's specific to the material as well, to then replicate this result in the future for other pieces. So I really love the way that looks. And then we did a couple other ones, so here... We tried a black one, because I haven't really done that before, where we engraved just a little snowflake design I've done previously. I kind of thought it would be cool for the snowflake to be the silver that's engraved. That's obviously the original stainless steel underneath, and then coming through that black coating. And then we did one that's a stainless steel blank, but it's copper coated, and that turned out like that. So this one, again, is also really cool. We've ended up with a lot of colours here, because this has actually turned out kind of bluish. And again, that was not on purpose, it's just what ended up happening. It's not the brightest blue, but then you do have a reference to be able to work from this setting and kind of work out from there and maybe find some other blues or some brighter blues. So that is really cool as well. And this is just my star sign. I thought that'd be kind of cool as a little necklace and also that copper background instead of it just being the plain silver. So we did a few blanks like that that I'm pretty happy with. And something else I really looked forward to try as well was engrave onto these little necklace letters. So I discovered these fairly recently and what they actually are is, let me just take one at a time, is you can open this up. So this is the envelope, it looks like this. You open it up and then inside there is a little letter and then you can engrave onto that. So we did that. Again, this is a meaningful date. So this is a really cute little piece, I think, and obviously you can make this very meaningful and sentimental, put dates in there that mean something to you, or other things as well, of course. And it's really quite small, so for the laser to be able to engrave onto that was really good. And you can still very clearly see it. So that is the silver one, and you put it back in, and it's a little magnet here, close it up, and then it's a necklace. So I think they are super cute and really cool concept and the other one also just a copper one here or rose gold whatever you want to call it and then we have the engraving so i'm also really pleased with how they turned out now one thing you do have to be mindful of because these little the letter part of them they are quite thin so what can happen is when you use the laser that they can warp the metal which did happen but you obviously want to play around with your settings for the laser as well to try and minimize that. But afterwards, I just kind of flatten them back out. So it's not the biggest deal in that case, as long as it doesn't affect the engraving, of course. But it worked out fine for these. So I really like these as well. And they're going to be the cutest little necklaces, I think. 
such a cool little concept and perfect for a machine like this because especially for jewelry making in general because there tends to be smaller items that you're going to engrave onto this kind of machine is just perfect i think because there is quite a small working area but you don't really need a bigger area than that when it's jewelry that you're talking about really now once we were done with the engraving i did also want to test the machine with some cutting so what we did was just do a few test pieces here to see how the machine could handle that. And first of all, as you can see here, this one turned out a little bit odd, but that's because, again, the settings will determine how your piece comes out, obviously. So here, as you can see, it's kind of burnt and singed, and that's because the settings were too high for cutting through. So it basically ended up burning more of the wood than I wanted it to, and it kind of made it crumble. So that means that we just needed to lower the settings. So we did that, and then tried again, just did a different design here. And you can see on this, this is really nice and clean. So that's another reason why you want to play around with your machine and get to know it to figure out what settings work with what materials as well. So we now know that the settings we had for this one were too high. So when we need to cut this material, we can lower it and it won't get that burning effect. And it'll also get a nice clean cut, which is also where the air purifier comes in. If you want to cut any materials that can burn, I highly recommend that you get the air purifier because we tried doing it without and then with and it made a huge difference. It pretty much almost eliminated the smell as well, which can be quite unpleasant. And what it also does is it makes your piece cleaner because it creates less singeing while the laser is cutting it. And really it's just a little box that you have next to it and of course you need to remember to turn it on. And you can also adjust the settings on that one as well, how strong you want it. So those are just a couple of little pieces that we tested out with cutting. So as you can see, even though this is quite a small machine and also not the most powerful ever, it's still fully able to both engrave onto metal, but also cut through materials as well. So I actually really enjoyed using this machine here. And like I said, it's small and portable and it's pretty light but it's still powerful enough to be perfectly usable for most things that you want to use it for, especially if it's jewelry related. So it's actually quite ideal if you want to kind of run a jewelry business where you engrave things. And again, like I mentioned, because of the size, it's also pretty space saving compared to a lot of other lasers. So of course, I'm going to leave links in the description box down below so you can go and have a look yourself. And thank you very much to Wayne Looks for sending me this machine to try out. I very much enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.